<clears throat> Alright, welcome back. In this top tip, we're going to show you how to make your own sand peg. Or you can go out and buy a couple. Yeah, sure. Why not break the bank and buy a few? We've got a couple, we never really use them. Um, but we're going to go to the beach, do some beach camping. Got a lot of metal pegs here. They're not really going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a great DIY sand anchor you can make at home. Stay tuned. Okay, so what you're going to need here is a drill bit, drill, some scrap timber, a bit of guide rope, some cutters, and you don't, don't need duct tape for this one. So what I like to do is I like to cut a piece of scrap timber into about size, around about my hand. So we've got one here. I'm going to take the drill and drill into the centre, and I'll put one in the corner as well. <clears throat> Take a bit of guide rope. Now, I don't really care about the length. It's sort of a, a personal choice. If you found it's too short, you can always uh, tie another bit on. I just uh, poke the, the rope through. Knot it off. One knot, two knot, personal choice. Pull it tight. Now, I just dig down with the shovel, uh, you know, until I get to sort of the hard pack sand. Just use my hand to dig down a bit of extra depth. Drop this bad boy in the hole, backfill. Now you can tie a loop in your rope at some point. So you can then, once it's backfilled, you have this sticking out the sand. Tie on with your guide rope, hook it on. And away you go, that's your sand anchor. So no need for a sand peg. You can pretty much build this out of anything you've got laying around. Chuck it back in your peg bag when you're done. Now what I do like to do is also with this corner hole, I like to add another rope. It can be a separate piece or it can be a piece you've you know, it's joined to this one. Once again, run it through, knot it off, pull it tight. So now I've got two pieces of rope. I've got our main line from the center that we're uh, pulling tight on. And the other one's kind of just loosely sitting there buried. And when we go to leave, rather than we have to dig down, pull this out, or really pull up to release it, I can just find this rope, pull it up, it turns the, the anchor sideways, and really helps draw it through the sand quite quite easily. Then you just dig it in and dig it down. So it's just gonna pull it up, flick it up, pull it up, that's it, it's done. So that's our DIY sand anchor. It's nothing new, it's been around for a while. Just thought we'd share it with everyone. Well, there you have it, DIY sand anchor. Hey, now, because you don't need to really bust the bank every time you go camping, uh, the sand pegs do definitely have a place, but why go spend money if you don't have to? Now, the only modification you can do is just the size of the base plate. The bigger the base plate, the more it's gonna hold. Now, obviously, a bigger base plate, bigger hole. As I said, I just like to have one that's uh, about the size of my hand, so I can just clear that, so dig down with the shovel as much as I want to, dig down a bit further with the hand, Bury this bad boy, put it in the ground, I'm good to go. That's it. As always, guys, give us a like, give us a subscribe. And if you've got any cheap camping mods and hacks and tips, chuck them down in the comments below. We'd love to read them. Until next time.